Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to The Daily Dose. I am Jeff Collier, here with uh, Kent Hutchinson. Hutch Hutchinson? I almost put an N in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate sorry it. About that. Uh, but uh, he is the artist of the wonderful piece, the uh, mural that just went up this week on the Neville Public Museum behind us, Pedro the Pelican. So, Kent, uh, tell us a little bit about how long um, you've been working on Pedro and trying to find a home for him. Sure. So um, the idea for Pedro the Pelican was originally conceived in 2015 uh, during the summertime uh, when my family and I, we had seen the pelicans around before, but we, there was this one particular moment that I was just awestruck when we were on the city deck right there. Nice. And Over by Broken Spoke. Yep. Right across from Broken Spoke. Actually down a little bit because we had gotten a pizza from, was it Eden's Pizza or no? Polito's. Polito's. Yeah. Okay got a pizza pie we we're out there eating it on the deck with my family and this giant flock of pelicans were cruising like a foot above the water and they just went right in front of us and it was just like this massive herd of giant animals and we're like oh my gosh <laughs> and so we I, I felt i felt at that moment that we needed to do something to capitalize uh and and shine significance on why the pelicans are here Nice. And uh, so how did it uh, go about that you ended up getting it onto the Neville here? So um, we had been bouncing from place to place to place to place. Everyone liked the idea, the concept behind Pedro the Pelican, but there uh, there just wasn't a, a commitment 100% to the location. And it started over there at, uh, you know, on a city property and then it moved around. Um, and now it's here because uh, I've been talking with uh, the Neville Museum about public art. They're really involved in public art and wanting to have uh, participate in that influence and in that movement towards public art in, in Green Bay. Oh yeah. Um, so I had some talks with Beth Lemke and, and pitched her the idea. And she's like, that sounds awesome. How can we make that work? And so uh, they're pretty uh, creative in how we came up with funds for it and everything. And, now we have it here. Nice. Well, it's glad to, I'm glad to see it here. You know, I mean, as somebody who does go from the west side to the east side for work every day, uh, it'll it'll be a nice little uh, feature to see along the way. And um, this is just uh, kind of the beginning of um, your public artwork down here in downtown Green Bay. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what uh, where maybe people should be looking for sure. a little bit more of your work? So, um, come winter time, we should have. Uh, a brand new sculpture, like a giant sculpture in, on Washington Street. Nice. And that's a project that was funded by WPS, Wisconsin Public Service. Thank you, WPS. That's right. And it's going to be a 23 foot tall kinetic welded aluminum uh, sculpture. Nice. That's going to be freestanding and it's going to rotate and it's going to bobble around. And there's going to be a water effect projection on the uh, ground surface. So a little, it'll look like you're walking on water while this giant sail is whipping around above you. Not whipping, but moving. But it's sailing. moving with the breeze. Right, right, right. Very nice. Um, what, just uh, to put you on the spot a little sure. bit, what, what do you think of the um, recent sort of public art uh, effort, uh, murals, that the community uh, you know, is kind of embracing and trying to uh, promote uh, throughout downtown? I think it's significant of the direction that Green Bay is headed. Yeah. We have this group of uh, budding artists, but also professional artists that reside in Green Bay that often take their work outside of Green Bay. Okay. But uh, we're, we're kind of galvanizing ourselves and we're uh, finding opportunities in Green Bay to, to show our work in Green Bay and that's going to create a new identity for Green Bay as being an arts, public arts uh, entity for Wisconsin. Yeah. And I think um, there's a lot of people who want that to happen, not only the artists, but the people, the businesses. Uh, a lot of people are excited about this movement. Yeah, I mean, I, I moved to Green Bay about uh, a little less than three years ago yeah. and was really excited to see Morty the Moose, to find out about Pedro the Pelican, and some of the other public art initiatives sure. that are going on. And uh, so, I mean, just really glad to see that uh, uh, Pedro has found a home and that uh, the public art effort continues. Yeah, the, another thing I'd like to note is the Green Bay Public Arts Commission is starting yes. to ramp up. Um, Laura Schley, who's the arts coordinator for the TVPAC, is doing a great job, and we're, we're creating projects for artists, and not only artists, but for people who want to try a mural out or something. They, we have, they have money 
help fund those projects. And they have locations. That's right. Uh, that where they are going to put concrete pads for 3D yes. art, That's also right. kind of not only in downtown, but throughout the community. As well. You're talking about the rotating arts program. That's yes, exactly right. And that's going to be pretty epic. There's going to be actually one location right there. So we'll see sculptures go up for one year, and they are going to be for sale for that artist. And so that artist is getting a prime location to sell their piece, and we're benefiting from having that beautiful piece of artwork right in our downtown area. Nice. Uh, I, I love this idea, very excited for it. And Ken, thank you very much for uh, continuing to uh, share your uh, your your talents and your uh, creativity with Green Bay. Happy to do it. Thanks, Jeff. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today's Daily Dose. Have a great weekend and uh, check out Pedro the Pelican when you can.